So this is War 8 of Season 35. I'm bringing She-Hulk, Massacre, and Doctor Doom. Um, this is also actually right after taking eight different fights in War 9, but no spoilers there. Okay, so here we have a She-Hulk versus America Chavez. This fight's pretty common. I face it almost every war at this point. Um, combo, partial combo, heavy, and then kill is basically the game plan. Um, so the combo part, there we go. The partial combo, there we go. And the heavy. So, so far it's going really good. Tons of theories. Um, I was also out of town for this. So there was kind of a concern of disconnect and another lag and whatever. So, there we go. And you can see these theories are just piling up. So if I could, wow, okay. Probably should have baited out that special one, um, but instead opted for no damage. So. There you go. Maybe don't do that. And in the special two. Does a ton of damage. Get out the special one with the Fury, so that's pretty nice. Um, other Fury comes back, special one to knock down, just for spacing, for tempo, for everything. There's no reason to hit her with the special. Because I'm already hitting hard enough as is, as you can see. So that's the fight down. Um, next fight is an Annihilus. Taking the Sinalis a couple times. The weirdest time I took the Sinalis was the She-Hulk. I would really prefer just never to do that again. Um, but yeah, Doctor Doom is really safe for this as long as you don't suck. So naturally, it was really hard for me. Um, we sidestep. Drop a little heavy. And, and basically, once you throw the special one, the fight should in theory be over. Um, especially if you're not garbage. So once I can learn how to do that, it'll be a lot easier. Um, but for the time being, here we go. There's that special one just with no provocation whatsoever, <laughs> which was kind of funny. Here we make sure to get the stun off for the theory purposes. Okay, so there's special two here. Okay. Oh, get put by special one. As I was saying, here at those, I should throw a special two for MD, okay? But I would prefer just to not be good, okay? Um, yeah, definitely remember this fight being not ideal. Um, so we take off the special one. We're not going to build a power drain Annihilus. Um, so it's important not to try to doom cycle him. Not that it wouldn't be safe. It just, it wouldn't end up how I want it to end up. Um, I would not get a special two. So we knock him down and throw the special three, which does a huge chunk of damage. Combos, probably just all light attacks, I would guess. Probably should have done a medium there, and I would have gotten more power from the power steal, but even my basic hits with the Fury up, both Furies up, doing a lot of damage. Not sure why. I, I did the four lights for power steal, but I should have just gone for the kill there. Um, but clean fight in terms of my health bar, but obviously could have done a lot better. So here we have a Mordo. We got a White Magneto pre-fight as well. Um, just a classic She-Hulk fight. I popped on a... What was it? special defense boost for this, but not an invul because um, at this point I'm pretty comfortable fighting Mordo, which isn't to say that he's not a threat, especially with something like, um, what's it called? Aggression, prowess, but still, uh, it's good to be mindful of your item usage and those things don't grow on trees, so. I was hoping this would be fine, and then naturally he turtled up like crazy, here he throws it. So here I want to I want to back off so I can pause that power gain. So use my special two to, to remove the power gain. Um, and so far it's going pretty good. I am gonna heavy him to knock down his protection. I hold my heavy so that it'll remove his power gain as well. And is this his? Okay, he stills not in protection. So there we combo for protection. Probably get a stone special two there. Um, but instead we back off and, and the special two kills him. So pretty basic stuff there. Um, here we have a Black Widow Clairvoyant, and this fight really pissed me off because I played very well and I still lost a ton of health because Black Widow Clairvoyant's bleeds were kind of pissing me off. So literally just a health potion fight. So thank you Ink and HCMA for that. Really, really appreciate you burning my potion. Um, but in all seriousness, this is part of the game. So it is what it is. And actually, immunity for, uh, to buffs from Defiance actually does count as Claire's immunity. 
Uh, so it's a little bit of a fun interaction there. So as you can see, taking no damage, but also taking tons of damage. Um, here we go, we drop a special 2 that does obscenely large chunks of damage. There we go, want to be mindful of the protection. And it is, is he even going to come back? I, mean, I guess not. She's dead. <laughs> but look, I took zero hits. I think I missed either one or zero parries. And I'm at 77, so really appreciated that. Now we have this eye bomb. This eye bomb can always be tricky. It comes down to this. If he plays with you, easy fight. If he doesn't play with you, real problem, at least with She-Hulk. I actually asked to take this fight with Ghost, but we needed She-Hulk for other stuff. Um, so, it's fine. Uh, I was happy to take this fight with She-Hulk. I've done it before, but just overall, never a fight you want to do. I'm, I'm willing to do it, but just not, not a fight you, you look forward to, at least for me, just because of how... Literally, if his AI just goes poorly, if he does something kind of mean, uh, it can be unfortunate for your health pool. So, here I throw a special two. There's a parry there, but it's fine. That was actually surprised. I meant to do a dash back, and I just choked it. So here we go. He's been very kind so far, and I'm just chunking his health bar down. I want an intercept, so I'll bait this special out into a dash back. Pretty standard. So I can get him to throw this. Let's see. Pushing him back for spacing. Because I was getting near the wall, so that was probably a good choice. Now I hit a little dash back. Oh, I guess I was pushing him over again so I could have the Fury for special too. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so here I want to do a two hit into dash back once I can bait the special out. So, two hit into dash back, which doesn't quite work, I would say. Um, this wasn't necessarily my game plan to take 28,000 damage. Uh,. Yeah, that's not what I was trying to do. But then I hit a, a point blank intercept. And that special goes away without concern. Special two, and we're good. So certainly not what I wanted to happen. Um, but bounce back really good. All his uh, poisons are away. You want to use the protection to kind of shrug stuff. So here he does this little thing where he wants to parry me, but I'm not having any of it. Um, so now he has to throw a special one. Probably just... I should just dash back in a special two here. That's not. Uh, let's see if, if I do that. Nope. Hesitates. And he hits me again. So that's another failed light intercept right there. He hesitates just long enough to clip me after the light intercept. And hits me. All non crit. If it crit, I probably wouldn't have been dead. But I can't say I would have enjoyed what would have happened if he had crit. Um, so here, I'm just blocking the whole thing. I don't care. I would really like not to die. Goes for. Misses another light intercept. This time I think it clipped though, that would have been fortunate. But at that point, even though they're not necessarily hitting all that often, he's being pretty passive, I need to get that to get out of the corner. Um, so here I push him out of the corner a little bit, and the fight's kind of getting back in hand, but once I can intercept, that's when I'm happy with the fight. Because even still here, this is a lot of health that he has. So I need to get that down. That special one is for spacing. So I need to get his protection down and start actually doing damage to him. So there he misses one again, so I have to land a parry. Just not going for any of my intercepts, which is fine. I'm not saying he has to. Um, it's just not ideal. I believe we actually... Yeah, we get this intercept here. And now the fight's looking decent. Part of me wanted to push the special two and throw it, but that special two from him would have full nuked my health bar very low, probably into Assassin's range. so better to bait out the special one. So, messy fight. Um, definitely a messy fight, but I came out of it alive. I was gonna say unscathed, just, uh, but that's not accurate, so, alive. Um, She-Hulk versus Maw. I take Maw every war, but not usually on this node. <laughs> so, probably actually, maybe should have knocked him down there. Knock him down here, though, um, to remove his focus for a little bit, hit a little intercept. Now we can throw the special one. In theory, he should be pretty quick to throw a special one once I have the theories. Go. So there we do it with heavy, just because I didn't, my spacing wasn't right for a regular heavy. So here I probably want to either intercept or knock him down. He's being mean again. Look at that. I appreciated that. And there I just miss a parry and get hit in the face. So you can see, definitely not the cleanest war for me. So now I want to intercept and throw special two. Which is pretty standard. Intercept, throw special two. Oh, I had a power back boost on for the um, for the science fight. So be right ball fights. But you probably could have noticed that. I mean, I did. But. <laughs> okay, um, now intercept and special two should finish it. So, there's the protection back, so all we have to do is just knock him down for focus. That one is, wasn't even needed, but it's better for tempo should he be mean to me. Um, so probably a good idea. There he goes, being mean again. 
What am I doing? Uh, that's a combo line. An abrupt special two, so I wouldn't get a special three. Okay, I don't really know what's happening here, but it is what it is. Okay, here we knock him out again. And he's just not going for a backdraft, so we can either backdraft. I'm, I'm probably going to attempt another backdraft, and then if that doesn't work, hit a regular intercept. I had to guess. But he goes for it here. Into special two. And that's the fight. So an another slightly messy fight, just... Um, my She-Hulk tempo is a little bit off. And on top of that, I'm just not, I'm not playing perfectly. And, and here's the fight that I was really excited about. Um, I got to bring Massacre to War, and I've asked to bring Massacre to War two or three times, and it's just never lined up in terms of shared fights and whatever. But I was specifically asked if I could bring Massacre here, and I was like, yes, of course I'll bring Massacre. I love Massacre. So PS1, just to make it a little bit faster. And we just want to hit his block. There I should have backed off after two hits, because that would be enough to put me into ignition, but really, who cares? Um, so he throws a full combo into me, but I just don't recognize it, because I was, I was I was focused on baiting heavies, and honestly, it's fine. This is my only massacre fight, but in my mindset, I was just thinking heavy, punish, heavy, punish. Um, which is what we're doing here. Here I can throw a special two, but I don't, because I'm trying to be safe. Here I do the dash back trick and throw a special two. I've detailed that a little bit in my battleground stuff. Similar to Hulkbuster. So here I just wanted to throw that special attack, and at this point, I'm not getting back to another special two, so I don't need to be ignited, I just want to kill him with my basic hits. Um, that's the game plan. So here we go, there's so many heavies, he's actually like going full crazy on these heavy attacks, which is which is what you expect for a combo, because I'd ideally not like to lose my tempo on that special one. Push him to special two, and just kill him there. Um, and I, just a little quick replay of that special two. Just because it was fun. <laughs> Two-bit combo, dash back. Throw the special two, he blocks. And his health bar declines rapidly. So that's the war. Um, we did end up losing, but that is the war. No deaths so far, so happy with that. And I hope you were warned just as well. Thank you for watching.